My name is Louisa Gauci, I am 20 years old, and I am from Brisbane, Australia. In high school, back in Australia, uh, they didn't have a baseball team, they only had a softball team, so I tried out for the softball team. Uh, I was told I wasn't good enough, and uh, the thing is I really enjoyed playing. So I actually really wanted to play softball, but my mom actually got the fields a little bit confused and ended up dropping me off at a baseball field because of the location. When it started getting to closer to graduating with high school and then moving on to looking for a college, I kind of made that decision where I really wanted to play at the next level. So that's when I started reaching out to schools for softball because at the time I was told that I actually, because I'm a woman, I can't play baseball. Uh, a few things happened where I met some amazing influential people and that's when they started telling me that, oh, all you have to do is ask. Coaches want you, all you have to do is ask. So I actually did end up finding a school that would take me for baseball. So I got recruited in 2019 uh, to come out to California. So that's what I did. I ended up uh, playing at West LA College up until the COVID season happened. Uh, and then when COVID happened, uh, I actually had to end up going home just because I couldn't train anywhere. There was nowhere to go and everything was closed. So I thought it would be a little bit better to spend it with my family. Uh, I went back to Australia and that's when I started training with Driveline. Uh, pretty much so I actually started with online training and I did online training from June until September. I first heard about Driveline when I was actually 15. Um, so Bodhi was uh, visiting the Gold Coast for the Australian uh, showcase and that was really close by to my city. One of my coaches actually came back from this event with a bunch of plyo balls and a bunch of recovery tools and we started doing it at all of our high performance sessions. I loved online training. I really lucked out. I ended up getting Tanner Stokey, who is our hitting coordinator here. He was my uh, hitting trainer and I annoyed him every single day with a bunch of video. Uh, and I would really just like stay on him because I just really wanted to get better. The reason why I ended up training here in person uh, at Driveline and why I really wanted to come out to Washington was because I didn't really have the resources or the facilities to be able to do my training uh, that I was doing online. The improvements I've made at Driveline is a complete 360 turn. I always make the joke that it pretty much just saved my career because uh, I always just say like, oh, before this, I didn't know how to play baseball. Back in September, um, I was a hitting intern. I got to spend a lot of time on the floor working with pro guys, working with college guys, pretty much just like learning the ins and outs for a lot of the stuff, uh, which really helped me with my training a lot because it really taught me the why behind what we were doing and how to really improve and how to get myself better, uh, like more of myself, like being my own coach, more than coaching like other people. And that just really benefited me all around. Without uh, seeming cheesy, Dryland has really given me a family because I am here in the US alone. So like, it's been really awesome to have like a community that I am able to like be here every single day and a lot of people care about me. Uh, what else has given me with opportunities is just like working at showcase events and really like helping like me promote women's baseball. Supporting women's baseball is pretty much just like the backbone of my why uh, behind pretty much everything that I do. And it like really deems a lot of my decisions in like what I'm doing with my career. So just recently, I just finished up a trip with Driveline. Uh, we went to the BFA Nationals, so baseball for all. Um, and we had a girls Driveline team there. I, for us, it was really more more about promoting girls baseball and that we support girls baseball and that we want more girls to play baseball. Being recruited, uh, coming out of West LA, well, it was pretty tough because I didn't really know if I was gonna go back to uh, LA or not. Uh, in December, that was when I kind of made my decision that I was gonna stay up here at Driveline. It's the best place for me to really reach my short-term goal. So. That's why we kind of decided uh, collectively with me and all my trainers that maybe looking for a school nearby was the answer. So that process kind of started in December when our season got canceled uh, back in California. It was kind of tough, you know, just like some coaches didn't reply to emails or just like didn't really get back to me, which is fine. It happens a lot. Uh, but luckily we, luckily there was one school that got back to me and loves driveline. So like that was Green River College. Uh, also two minutes away from uh, the facility, which is super awesome. 
Driveline to me is really a huge family uh, and this place is filled with like-minded people that I get to hang out with every single day. It's just a really big part of my life. <laughs>